You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. My name is Morello Kane and it's Morale All Things Hair dot media, the hair debates segment of fashion and flair with hair. Yes, it is. At Timber's topic is hair it is, but debunk. But here we are talking about fashion today. And with fashion, we have our fashion um, enthusiasm, okay, enthusiasts. Oh, let me get that name right. Okay, <laughs> I worked on that name. Okay, we have Miss Netta Rose. Oh, I love that name. And yes, and then we have our very own out of New York. Oh, and she is bold with that, Miss. <laughs> there isn't only one, Miss Terry Ash. How are you doing today? I'm good, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you, Miss Netta Rose? I'm well. <laughs> oh, I love that name. Two beautiful women are here with me today, and we are talking about Fashion Debunk. Okay, so now we had a discussion, very interesting, and yes, I'm doing it boldly, wearing white after Labor Day. And so, and so let me tell you, we had this discussion, very interesting, because how many of us are comfortable with wearing all white? We want to do that. We want to walk boldly, make a statement. White shoes and all. Okay, so make a statement. We're doing that. But now, not everyone agree with that. So, Miss Netta Rose, let me get your opinion to when it comes to wearing white after Labor Day. Yes, so as you may know or have heard, it is not fashionable to wear white after Labor Day. But in this day and time, it is fashionable to be yourself and to do what makes you happy. And if that just means walking the path of your own, then, then you do that. It's about creating a statement and doing what's best for you. Now, you might turn a couple heads and people might look at you a little sideways, but if you don't mind people looking at you sideways, then you keep on strutting. <laughs> okay, so now, that's a myth. And so should we continue with this traditional way of thinking? So I personally feel like there are certain whites that you should and shouldn't wear after Labor Day. So if I saw a linen white, I would think summertime. And I would okay. I would think that that would look a little off in fall or winter. But then you have your winter whites, and a winter white is beautiful. So it just kind of depends on how what fabrics you're wearing, um, what the weather is outside. Things like that will determine whether or not your white can flow, if you can make it work or not. Okay, so now, but now who defines, you know, spring white, winter white? Okay, so now, being from New York, because, you know, as she told me, oh, dude, yeah, we do, we do. So I'm just It's saying, a regional thing. <laughs> okay, regional. It's a regional thing in, in New York, and after Labor Day, you might, you may or you may not get a few days of Indian summer. Okay. After that, it's fall type weather. Again, I, I, I'm old school. I go with no white after Labor Day. This is for you. Okay. <laughs> this is for you. Okay. After you Labor you Day. I, I, Normally, this, this, this would not happen. However, I live in Georgia now. So as you said, it's like, it, it's it's where you are. It's it's the type of weather. I mean, Georgia after summer, I mean, after September, summer's over, September 21st. I would not wear white after September 21st. But, but, yeah. Okay, but why not? Okay, I mean, if, if okay, white to me, me, uh, you know, um, it to me means purity. Okay. Okay, so so now if I want to go to an event and 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 also too, when you wear white, you make it a statement. Okay, hold on. Okay, you make it a statement. As I said, white linen pants after September twenty first. That's a no no. A white open toe sandals at an evening function. I still believe it's a no-no, but I'll let you get away with the open toe sandals, as long as they're not white. You, you see what I mean? <laughs> oh, really now? Yes. Sis, some sexy sling bag, open toe sandals yes. in, in Georgia in December. That is okay. You know, you're going from the car to the event, whatever. It's probably don't even have any snow. But white ones, I'm up. I'm up. No. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, so now, Ms. Rosé. Okay, so Miss Rose, now, okay, when you say white linen, now to me, linen, linen can be, well, it can be, you know, the material is, is thin. Okay. Right. Okay, okay, so now, uh, but now you can also find a thicker material. So would that thicker material not be um, um, 
don't say if it was just all white, would that still be no? Depending on the thickness of the material. I think that the thicker material you may be able to get away with more so than linen. Because you, if you see someone wearing white linen in fall or winter, you just think that they look out of place. It's like seeing someone wearing it. It's like seeing someone wearing it. You can get a pair of white linen. In the winter time. A woman. I don't know about a man. But a woman. A nice pair of wool. Wool. Winter white slacks with the right shoes and a color, another color. You know, not all white, but another color. No, okay. Being a hair care provider, and color is what we do. Okay. Okay, colors. What we, so now, when you say wearing a white, to me, what I see is ivory, off white. Like that's, that's not a true. Fine. That's correct. No, no, but that's not a true white to me. I, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a whole, that's an entire different shade. I think the winter white is the exception for the people who want to wear white after Labor Day. So if you want to wear white, you just have to wear the winter white. It's, you know, giving you a little bit. You just have to take it and run with that, girl. Sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you. Just pack your, <laughs> pack your true whites mm -hmm. up and you can wear them next summer or next spring. <sighs> okay. It's just or you, like I said, as in this day and time, you can walk with the beat of your own drum. No one's going to tell you to take your clothes off if you're wearing white. So if you want to wear your I white... Will, I will add this. You can't put them back on until after Memorial Day. That's when you bring the white back out. Really after now? After Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Or Memorial Day. Yes. The start of summer. Right. I just, again, I mean, this is a platform where we can discuss these things and respectfully debate, but I have to disagree. You know, like you just said, no one would ask me to take it off, but I don't know the way, you know, Miss Ash over here was just looking at me, you know. I am not gonna say anything to you. I might say something about you, <laughs> but I won't say anything to you. <laughs> you I can't. I'm it's the truth. <laughs> but I understand you're a hairstylist. You wanna be able to express yourself. Yes. You want to wear some color. I'm just My saying. opinion is that in the winter time and the fall time, that's the best time to wear your color in your hair. Mm. You wear your red hairs, you wear your coppers, you go black, jet black. Like that's the time for your hair to pop. The summer times you wear your blondes and your softer colors that kind of blend. But you take that winter time to let your hair pop and then everything okay. else can just be more neutral. Okay, now you guys have said something. Okay, the red hair. Now let's talk about this. Okay, because again, Okay, so now we're in the fall, going, you know, <clears throat> into the winter. You have Christmas coming up. You have this, you know, getting to the holiday time. So now, redheads, okay, rocking red, um, red color. And what about, like, that red dress? What about, like, that red outfit with your red hair? Is that a no-no? So that's another old myth and again I, a disclaimer you can wear whatever you want and not care what anyone thinks I personally feel like a red outfit with red hair just takes away from one or the other when you have a color that makes your red hair pop like a green or a blue or a purple then everything has its own attention and your hair pops and it stands out and it's more bold whereas a red can be and I think with skin tone, sometimes you can get away with it. Um, if you have a more cool skin tone, you can wear a brighter red. And if you have a warmer skin tone, you can wear burgundies or um, burnt, burnt reds. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so now, okay, Miss uh, Terry H. Yes. Okay, so now, being from New York, you know, in style. Okay, I'm from Alabama, and so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him with her sitting right here okay so so fashion is supposed to be your thing from new york okay so now would you say bright red hair okay, now okay. first of all what well, we have to acknowledge is the fact that um I, I i am not as flamboyant or as flashy with my appearance or my my, my choice of dress okay? okay so you will never see me with that you know i see red red stop sign hair you okay. never see me with that. You know, you have to look close now to see my my red highlights, you know, in my yes. hair because that that's as red as it will get for me. Okay. So, um, but I did I, I I don't see anything wrong with the, the way that I wore I wore my red dress okay. with my red highlights. Okay. Again it wasn't stop sign red. Right. So, okay. 
So now, would you say that a person with a lighter tone could possibly, you know, okay, because because now I've heard that it was stated that you know sometimes the red can can flush you out depending upon your complexion, wearing red, you know, it may not, it's not a true balance. Okay, now okay, so I what's a true that, balance? Speak as a sister, okay. I, um, as a sister, we come in many different shades. Many yeah. Different okay. Colors, okay. Absolutely. And um, um, I, I do believe that a, a, a dark skinned sister looks really vibrant with a, a bright red. Yes. Um, a light skinned sister may look a little washed out. Okay, with gray hair. Just with the bright red. Just with the bright red. You know, okay. I'm, I'm not saying you can't red. Please, please understand. Sisters, wear what you want, any color you Absolutely. want. I, I, I love my sisters. Oh, Black mouth. <laughs> okay. What kind of hair? Okay. But, I, but, I, but, you know, it, it, to me, I just, uh, I think a dark-skinned woman, you know, she just looks more glowing with a bright, br with a brighter color. Yes. You know, so. Right. Well, I'm going to start rocking my red. I'm just saying. Okay, so Miss Rose. And I do agree with Miss Terry. The darker red hair, you can get away with wearing the brighter red. I think it's more about not wearing the same color on the clothes and in your hair because then it just kind of gets missed in translation. And you know, we want our hair to stand out, we want our outfit to stand out. So you have to give it, give it shine. There's balance. Yeah, and there's certain colors I believe that make other colors pop out. Um, taking it back to elementary school when we learn our primary colors and complementary colors. Yes. Those complementary colors work well in fashion and hair as well. So if you have a purple red tone hair, you can wear a yellow with that and it, it'll pop. Yes. It so does. so thinking about those kind of things um, when you're dressing your outfits to match whatever hair color you're you're rock, rocking in whatever season. I absolutely love that. And thank you so much for bringing up the primary colors no, no. and the complimentary. I'm just saying. I, I thought it was more of me, but I'm so glad that you plugged that in. <laughs>